Hi and welcome back. So today I'm going to go through my latest blood test results. This blood was drawn on the 10th of December 2022, which is around the 29 month point of my NMN experiment. Enough waffling off me, let's jump into the spreadsheet and let's see what the blood test results have got to offer. So let's take a look at the supplements I was taking during the time of this blood test. NMN 1.5 grams a day, trans resveratrol 1.5 grams, only taking those on the days I don't train. I normally train Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so I would take it on a Tuesday, Thursday and a Saturday and sometimes on a Sunday as well. TMG 1.5 grams, 500 milligrams of metformin and I would take that uh, after my evening meal but before I went to bed. Vitamin D3, 5,000 international units per day but I take 10,000 on a Sunday and a Wednesday because I'm hoping to get my levels up from what they were last time. Vitamin K2, 120 micrograms per day, MK7 version. Magnesium, 250 milligrams per day, L3 and 8 version. Hyaluronic acid, that's high molecular weight hyaluronic acid, 200 milligrams per day. Quercetin, 2.4 grams a day, and that's on the first, second, and the third of each month. Fisetin, 2.4 grams a day on the first, second, and third of each month. Dried parsley, one tablespoon a day mixed into my yogurt when I break my fast at noon. Uh, Cert 6 activator and also DIM 600 milligrams per day and I take that three doses 200 in the morning 200 at lunch uh, breakfast time which is midday and 200 with my evening meal so that's it for the supplements I took during uh, the time of this blood test so the rest of my numbers are all in range one number that has gone up quite a lot is my triglycerides I'm gonna throw up now a screenshot of an online calculator I use because the company that does the blood test don't give me my LDL, HDL and my triglyceride HDL ratios. I've got to work those out. So by entering cholesterol, HDL and LDL, it works out certain numbers for you. You can see here it's thrown up my triglycerides. It says when I put in the normal numbers that I've got above, my triglycerides are 78.65. But for some reason here, the lab has said 103. Um, my last test was 79 uh, and 91, which was obviously high. So 79 to 103 is a big jump, but the online calculator says it's 78.65. So this may be um, an anomaly in the lab. I'll check that when I do my next blood test, which will be in three months, because triglycerides as well as VEL, V, LDL cholesterol is a number that I really want to try and get low. Let's look at my blood sugar. You can see here that my A1C is still high, 5.8. It's down from 6, but it's still high in the 5.8 mark. Bearing in mind I've been taking metformin for around three months now. Um, I'm not impressed with this number. I thought it would have been a lot lower. That said, it may take longer than three months for metformin to actually make a difference when it comes to the A1C marker. As part of this blood test um, package I get, I get to have a cons consultation with the doctor, so I will ask her what she thinks about this. Um, she may say, give it another three months, or she may up my dose. We'll have to wait and see after the consultation. That said, average blood glucose has gone from 126 down to 120, so I'm now back in the excellent control bracket. Metformin might have had um, something to do with that. Well, I'll find out when I speak to the doctor. Moving on to my liver profile, you can see here some numbers are in pink. Um, and some are in blue. That's because they've changed the measurement metric. If you were to look at 0 0.42, it's much more different to 0 0.27 um, or 0 0.33. It's because they've changed the metric. If it's pink or it's blue, then it's within reference range. This one down here, which is globulin, is red. It's been red for the last three. Um, I showed that to the doctor the last time. When she compared that to other markers that would have would have flagged it as an issue, she said there's nothing of any real note and 2.09 where 2.5 is the lower number, is not really that far off, according to her. So um, no real issues with the liver profile. Moving on to my renal profile, you can see here that my bun level is high. Um, that's normally a issue with kidney or liver, da liver damage. The doctors looked at all the other markers to do with that. And she said, for my age, there's not really an issue. Um, the bun creatinine ratio is high because the bun number is high. Uh, but again, she said 23.1 is actually the, the the highest it can be so it's gone red because it's 23.1 it's on the border so as far as she's concerned not really any massive concerns with regard to that thyroid you can see here again all numbers although they're pink are within reference range so that's good vitamin d up from 55 to 82.52 so hottest part of the year so i'm getting more sunlight i'm started riding my bike also i'm taking the 10,000 international units 
twice a week. That's obviously pushed that um, that level up. Sufficient is between 30 and 80, and that's 82.5. So it's over sufficient, which is great. Toxic's over 100. So as long as I'm around the 80 mark, I think I'm going to be happy enough. Vitamin B12, again, down slightly from last time, but the... Um, the lower end is 211, the upper end is 911, and 466 is in the middle, so I'm happy with my vitamin B12 numbers. Let's take a look at my testosterone. You can see total is up from last time. It was 455, it's now 586, so I'm happy that that's gone up. My total testosterone, uh, my, so that's the total, sorry, my free has gone up to 25.52, and that used to be at 15.75, so it's really good that it's jumped up. 10 points i'm happy with that um i'm not sure if that's down to the dim what dim does as it lowers estrogen it raises testosterone levels so they're more balanced i'm not sure if part of that is also that it frees up some of the total testosterone to be free um, which is the more useful type when it comes to especially men of my age i'm also looking into boron because boron is a way of releasing more testosterone from the total to become free um, I know that it's good as long as you cycle it. If you take it every day, it can be an issue. Um, I'd be interested to see in the comments below anyone who's got any comments with regard to boron and its ability to free um, total testosterone. My iron levels, again, within reference range, so no issues with that. Homocysteine, again, well within reference range. I'm very happy with that. C-reactive protein. Um, 0 0.62, a very good marker. This talks about inflammation in the body. We all know inflammation um, is one of the risk factors for anti-aging diseases. 0 0.62, well below um, 3.0, which is which is good. Uh, lipoprotein A, 5, again, well within the reference range. Moving on, apolipoprotein. So A1, B, and the ratio of A1 and B, you can see here, all within reference range. So I'm very happy with that. No issues at all. Amylase, again, well within reference range. And lipase, also well within reference range, although they've changed the um, the measurement. That number, 159, is now within reference range. You can see it's, it's vastly different to the 23. So although the numbers are different, it's actually within the reference range for that measurement standard. So I think all in all, pretty good. Um, some of the numbers out of reference range, and I will discuss those with the doctor. One I will definitely talk about is the A1C number and how metformin, although I've taken it for around three months, doesn't seem to have made much difference there. So I'll be interested to see what her take is on that. Also, um, boron. I'd like to see your comments below about boron. It looks like a useful uh, molecule when it comes to freeing up some of the total testosterone, something that's very important for definitely men of my age. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I look forward to seeing your results with regard to my blood test um, scores that we've just gone through. Uh, as always, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.